Today I'm going to be talking about an underpainting. And an underpainting is, to me, it's a, it's a critical initial step to the creation of a painting. It helps you solve your, your drawing. You can refine your drawing down. And it also helps you to begin to establish the values of your painting. And it's, uh, you know, at its core, it's basically just a single color painting, you know, that lies underneath your, your, your overpainting or, you know, the, the finished painting that, that everybody, of course, sees, you know, you tend to, if you, if you choose to take and put color on the painting. And uh, this is, so this is, I'll grab one here. So this is, this is an underpainting here, actually. This is, uh, this is on a canvas panel. You can, you can hear the canvas. But this is raw umber, which is almost all I use for underpaintings these days. But it's, it's raw umber, and it's, uh, you know, it's almost, uh, doing an underpainting like this, like you're seeing right here, it's almost like doing, working with charcoal. Now, what I mean by that is that, you know, the, when you want it darker, you just add more color. And where you want it lighter, you, you take and remove color, just like you would with charcoal. And so, uh, as an example, you know, if I wanted to take and lighten this, this cheek up or this forehead, you know, I might take and use a, use a paper towel or a rag and wipe it back. Or uh, in tight places, you know, if, like if I want the teeth, to, if I want to carve in the teeth or lighten the teeth, as an example, I'll take and use a Q-tip like this and I'll put it in turpentine. Or somebody else could use Gamsol or whatever. But the point is, use, uh, use a solvent and put the q-tip in the solvent and then you can almost use it like a very fine eraser in small and tight areas. The, the panel itself has what's called an imprimatura uh, over the entire surface, over the white of the canvas. That's very common. That's a, that's, that's a typical step, you know, to uh, uh, rid ourselves of the, that, that raw white of the canvas. And it's just really all it is is just a, a light stain that's put on, you know, before, uh, in my case, before I step in and uh, work on doing the underpainting. Uh, one other thing, too, here that I should probably bring up while I've got this in my hands. The, uh, the reason why I, I tend to use raw umber is because it's a, it's a very fast dryer and it's warm. And the reason why it's a great idea to have a fast dryer is because you want this to be you want this to be dry before you come back in over the top, you know, uh, with uh, with other paint ideally. And this stuff will an underpainting like this. It's very uh, very often it'll dry overnight, uh, not all the time, but but just about. And so then it's it's just wide open to go ahead and come back in over the top and start doing, uh, you know, the overpainting phase. And again, this isn't this is this is this is my way. This isn't the only way. This is a way, and uh, for some people, this may not even be the right way. But on the other hand, it's it's just how I how I happen to uh, do my paintings. And so uh, that's that's probably about it. I you know it's it's a it's a relatively simple concept. You know, to again, it's it's so that you can take and eat the elephant one bite at a time, as it were. You know, and it's just one step in the process. And it's uh, to me, it's a very important step because uh, very often, I mean, especially with realistic art, representational art, you know, it's it's uh, to me, it's judged first and foremost on how well it's drawn, and then everything you know falls down from there. So, if you can take and solve that drawing issue separate from just about everything else then uh, that's a that's a huge step forward in the progress of the painting i've gone ahead and put together some 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 of my paintings that i, I actually took some shots of them in their their underpainting phase and i've got them set up where the overpainting or the finished art uh, transitions you can actually see the underpainting and then you can see it transition uh, quickly into the overpainting and you can see how critical at least again the way that I do paintings you can see how critical it is uh, this this underpainting step is to the way that I do art so we'll go ahead and roll on that and for now I'll say goodbye and uh, say thanks for watching my name is Chris Mummer